it will be created if you are a rep if you are a rapist in uh, 1900 in 2024, we will still know you as a rapist. It does not change. There is one thing people need to understand. You do not change after you have cyberbullied people and they have died. What you did remains because those people are dead. So you cannot say that now you are a better person. What you can do is take responsibility of your actions and do better and do different. But it does not mean that what happened or what you did has changed. No. That record is still there. It remains. People died and you contributed to their death. Because you emotionally damaged them and traumatized them we allowing the trolling to go on and continuously being part of the trolling that was happening with thousands and thousands of people. The people who are in Baya Beware know what was happening in that group. The amount of bullying was done so collectively. It was like a vigilante group where people would agree to the point of one are collectively two more messages to their victims. They would look for your, your, your workplace, watatafuta kazi yako, watafute boyfriend yako ama buwana yako, kila mahali walikuwa wanaenda kuku kwa attack. And uyu ati ndi alikuwa ana make order, akiambia watu, tumeni salamu, go and attack. Go and attack. She used to give those orders for people to go and attack. And when she gave the orders for people to go and attack, unamuka unapata simu yako, wame, watu wametuma ma messages. People used to threaten others from her group. People were threatening her victims. The messages that were being sent, there were messages of threats. Unakuwa threatened because ametumish, ametoa amri. Then she would publish your number. Ndiyo watu wa sasa wakufuate. Wale wenye walikuwa waoga and could not take it would go back to her na wampigie wa mlipe pesa na post zinaeza kutolewa. Those who did not survive could not take the trolling. They would shut off their phones, move to a different city. Kuna watu walihama wakaenda to other places they change their numbers. There are people who lost their partners. They separated with their partners because of the trolling that was happening in Baya Beware. Perhaps maybe we need to also talk about uh, the facts that uh, uh, need to be laid out. Uh, first of all, when people claim that you could recover debts, that's, that's, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's bullshit because at the end of the day, at what cost? What was the cost and who appointed anybody? Even if anybody had a debt or if anybody had an issue with any organization, there are protocols to follow. There are things to follow. You don't bully someone because they have a debt. You don't bully someone or push them to death because they have a debt. That does not, that is not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. But that is what happened in that group. And it happened constantly. It's not just a one issue. It happened for years. Now, I didn't want to talk much about that group because I was going to bring in uh, other families the stories that you people on TikTok have no idea about. The people that we documented, the people that we managed to find when this documentary was done in 2018, they were 11 in number. Out of the people that uh, we reached out to from the group, and this is from the evidence of the posts that were put in the group, and when we started investigating to look for the people that were bullied in that group, a total of 16 people committed suicide. Out of all these people, only 11 were able to give us their stories. 
The rest said they want nothing to do with talking about. Their families said they do not want to talk about it. There is a family, after they had lost their mom, the son also committed suicide because of buyer beware. So this is a story that I must tell. These stories I will tell and I must bring the victims because that is what is supposed to happen. When you do awareness, you come with your facts. Now, I would like to talk to Jacqueline Ombewa and I'm going to address you with a lot of respect because first of all, I know you lack respect and sometimes you may not understand what respect is. Number one, Jacqueline Nombewa, you're very new to issues that happened on Facebook. Everybody will a toddler on Facebook. You didn't know nothing about the groups in Facebook. You joined Facebook groups very late. In fact, who, who knew you on Facebook? We, you, people started knowing you on Facebook in 20, 2020, 2019. Nobody knew you. You are not in Baya Bivoa. You are not in Kilimani Moms. So this lie that you keep peddling... At you came to save me. Who can you save? You. You you woman who loves herself and cannot even give anybody anything. Like why would you even sit down and lay, make up a lie that you, 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 you saved me? You came to my house and started asking me how I survived the trolling on, on Facebook. You did not save me from anything. So please stop peddling that lie because it's very irritating. And then you like putting your head in every story. You don't know anything about what happened on Facebook or even how the Facebook st books group started you, because you were not there. Wewe ulikuwa bado mchanga kwa hizi Facebook groups. There's nothing you knew. Anything you knew ni vitu zenye uliambiwa baadaye. So cut off that bullshit and the lie. And tunaenda kukati tunasema eti hizo story ni uongo. Story ni uongo. Those were not stories told by me. Those were the family members. Those who are the family members, it's not me. I can talk about my own story. But when those family members speak, sit down in that stupid corner of viewers and shut up. Instead of opening your big mouth here, coming up with lies just because you want to make things be about you. This is not about you. It's not your normal TikTok chai. So stop your stupidity and gaining useless clout with things that don't make sense. You want to get involved in everything, even when you know nothing about it. Aye? Don't make me disrespect you this morning. You're not that significant. Kila kitu, you're dipping your, uh, your head into it. You are nowhere on, on Facebook. You did know nothing. Wewe watu wame Mi kama sis tunuanza kukujua Facebook. Nini? Nuanza kukujua Facebook 20 what? Ata by 2014, you could barely comment on any Facebook group. So there's nothing you know about buyer beware. Nyamaza, hmm? kako yuko na yako ati una upiganga kifu kusema eh, eh, you saved me you saved me from what you did not save you 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 saved me from what where una ni save from nini me i fight my battles alone i've never ever asked anyone to fight for me never you always do the usual ukipata issue unaingiza kichwa yako ndani ati unatoa opinion on this one zip it Go talk about your, your the, 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 So I hope Magda, you can go down, sit down and get some books and read. To me, Akiliyako, before you open your mouth. Because I have realized you yap too much. Yeah, you're just a foolish psychophant. Unapak to me, Akili, before you talk. This is not about emotions. Now, is this easy? See your rest. Is this easy? This issue I'm talking about. 
don't know. Tafadhali enda ukakae chini uji uji. Unajua? Ujielimishe. Ati at you see tulikuwa tuna expect recording. Recording ya, ya mataka yako ndio ulikuwa unataka. Who are you to ask and expect a recording from me? Hi? You think I operate in your calendar? According to what you want. Where? Chunga sana. Now, I want to address Edna. Contributed money to Jacqueline because I was looking for people who had contributed to be witnesses in the case. Ukaniambia ulikuwa ume contribute pesa kwa Jacqueline utaenda ku print out um, uh, mpesa zako unilete. Kama nadanganya ukuja useme si uku sema ivo. Come here and you say it. And then you went round and round in circles. Ukifikiria we ni mwerevu ujui mi niko na namba yako and already found out ulikuwa hata ujapatiana pesa kwa Jacqueline. The only money you had given Jacqueline on bill was 800 Kenya shillings. Na mimi huku na nidanganya. No wonder nikakuuliza statements za safari kwa ma- You've had a, a change of, of mind. No, you had a change of mind because you knew that you did not have the money that you had told me was in the statements. That is why you changed your mind. So when you your number, okay. Mbona ukwambia Polina nilikutumia pesa? Ulimwambia kwa hivyo? Pia. Cuz when you wanna talk about Diana, don't just be talking about Diana when you want to say bad things. Also, can you come and talk about the money I've sent you? Because it looks like uh, people are really really very good at saying negative stuff, but they never acknowledge when they receive good things from people. Hmm? Because umuona sasa ni time ya kufungua chai. Si basi tufungue chai. Kila kitu na ufungue chai zote. Hmm? Edna, you are getting involved in an issue which has nothing to do with you. Na nina waomba, wenye wanaingililia the differences I have with Ati. Just do it. But I'm telling you, Mimi, I would rather sit out. Mimi I am dealing with Ati with myself and by myself. Na nimeomba hata marafiki zangu wote wasiingililie na wasijaribu kumtusi ama kumwatak on my behalf. Mimi I deal with Ati by myself as Diana, mtu mmoja. I will never put people on a platform na sitawahi fungua platform kupandisha watu. Ati kudil na yeye. No, I don't do that dirty work. I don't need psychopaths. Okay? I don't. I don't do that kind of stupid work. Na because I don't like flying monkeys around me. Ati watu wameenda kupa kupark themselves on a platform. Hmm? Now, um when Someone had asked that why am I choosing to speak about these issues now? <laughs> Did I not leave TikTok? After Malisafi aliapishwa sindi toka pa TikTok, nikawaambia and I was really trying to even communicate with that at ni vile tu delulu na akili yake ni ndogo. I was respecting the fact that I needed this issue ama e association or whatever she calls it iishe vizuri na kila kitu what we whatever we shared and whatever we said nilikuwa nataka we part ways peacefully lakini mjinga naye ni nani ah tumii akili yeye nikiwa siko tiktok 
bado anawashwa anakuja because let me tell you the plan because nyinyi mnafaa kujua why ati came to tiktok why they even opened the opposition and why diana was obviously not going to be involved in the opposition because ati can no longer bully people on facebook we called her out there enough and we put shame on her name and that is the tag that people know her with on facebook as a cyber bully so she found a new platform and when she knew the new platform was here she needed to find a way of creating her own platform that looked like what she was doing on facebook and that is how team opposition was born and you can see very clearly she is recruiting people and she's putting bullies on that platform to bully that is the exact pattern that she is using now that is what she is doing now that is what she was doing on facebook so she is recruiting everybody people wale watu wenye sasa wako wameanza kukuwa recruited watu wako sasa wameanza kuingia hapo kuna watu wako sasa team opposition wameanza sasa sio team opposition that is team cyber bullies that is what is happening because any platform that sits to discuss a person the whole night and body shame and call someone names that is a bullying platform <laughs> that is not any opposition platform so what she has created and she's hiding under the guise of opposition is a team bullying platform and when she was creating opposition aliongea mpaka na one of the gifters mm. na huyo gifter wakasikizana ya kwamba atamsaidia afike kwa ile platform nyingine akifika kwa hiyo platform nyingine what she sold to Kinayeko is that she's the only person that can deal with me and that is how opposition was born and that is why they are forming this group according to them when they group and gang up against Diana she is eventually going to leave TikTok that is not going to happen i'm sorry and that is why she is obsessed and that is why she was simping to google because she really 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 has sold herself as the person who can malizana na diana <laughs> so she sold them a lie and she's been eating coins based on the lie and the only reason why she is also obsessed with the issue of team google is because she knows she needs money for her game the match that was coming do you realize how angry alikuwa vile malisafi ali cancel game aliani ilifanya akaruka kichwa paka hakukuwa anajielewa she started attacking me she couldn't even sit to think afikirie uh, eh hii game kwani imecanceliwa kwa nini the only thing she thought of Diana and me cancel game sasa akaanza kukuwa na enmity na animosity over nothing yet mimi si ku cancel game ni malisafi ali cancel game kivi yake So now the reason why anaegemea Google ni kwa sababu anafikiria ile siku ya Machi ya 28th Google itamsaidia. Tarehe 28 hiyo hiyo siku ya Machi yako tutajua mbivu na mbichi ni nani kwa i TikTok. Na ukue tayari. I love those games. Sawa. Now another thing I'd like to tell you at your whistle always remember na nakukumbusha jana nilikwambia hii kitu na nakwambia tena mimi sitaki kuongelelea mavazi yako sitaki kuongelelea nguo yako viatu zako sijui nini i don't wanna do that that is so petty uh, those are things that only you can do also i'm not in any competition with you nilikwambia hauna hii akili hakuna so i can never be in any competition with you for you to compete with me the first thing you need is a brain which you clearly don't have umesikia 
ati umeka pale nilisikia jana mimi au za twak nilisikia jana somebody told me ati ulikuwa unaenda kutafuta re, nini yo 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 interviews that you did on tv ati nitazileta my friend you think i'm that stupid <laughs> what i'm going to bring here is not something you are, you are even prepared for <laughs> you know you bullied be people in Bayer beware for over 6 years and 16 people died you think that those are stories that uh, me i i did not document and they are forgotten are you are you crazy you think i would come here at inakuja to talk about you with 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 cheap stuff no i don't operate that way You are near me but you never learned anything about me. You're so foolish that you even thought for a moment that you knew so much about the cases that we had in court and you knew nothing. You knew nothing. Au kujua chochote everything that nilikuwa nakupatia was a lie. Hata mpaka leo sijuzi tu maybe uligundua ya kwamba nilikuwa nakupatia Photoshop about what was happening with the TikTok and the accounts that was supposed to be brought down you don't even know sindio you had the wrong information and that is something i intentionally did because i knew i was dealing with a buffoon and a loud mouth when you're dealing with a loud mouth mdombakuli you don't give them the right information no make sure you feed them the lie that they need to hear so and i need to, so um i need to also make something very clear here i see now tim gugu na huo ati wameanza a lie eti ati mtu alikuwa anataka kuiga kuua gigi dola why would anyone why would i want to kill gigi for what and itanisaidia nani eh huyo ati mwenyewe tu ndio alileta police fake tukaandika statements paka tukatuma id this same at here so mimi nilikuwa natuma id kwa nini na tukaandika statements that zinaenda kotini kama mtu alikuwa anapaa kuliwa wacheni ukumbafu nyiti mgugu stop stupidity sawa so, sawa so. wacheni ujinga before you make conclusions like that tumieni akili yani mnachanga akili saa nyingine mkifikiria nini hmm? hmm? Arafina. So Mimi I never attack people, I only respond. So I only respond. I probably would have never even talked about Ati at all. I would have gotten out of my sabbatical and came back to TikTok and did my business because me I have a lot to speak about on my platform. So so. So me I don't have I I acta sikuwa na intention ya ku pay attention to her. But nilikuwa nimenyamaza sana akiendelea. Na alikuwa anaendelea anaendelea kuongea anaendelea kunichokoza na mimi nimenyamaza. So now niki respond wanataka kunichagulia vile nina respond. Ati yo sifai kufanya hivi. <laughs> you don't get to choose for me how I respond. You don't. I will respond how I want to. So. Au amekesha na kina yako ayeko nimekuambia and I'm warning you again ayeko please stop talking about me I hope you are not talking about me Ninakupatia heshima zako sitaki kukuaibisha kwa hii TikTok Nimekuambia mara ya ngapi hii ni mara ya pili nikikuambia Sitakuambia mara ya tatu Stop watering me wacha kunifuata au watu wanakupush unifuate na maneno au hata kuwa nikikufungulia live 
just leave me alone vile nimekuacha na nimekupatia hiyo maisha yani nimekupatia heshima zako nimeachana na wewe nataka tuachane tu hivyo kipenzi ulikuwa huko oh alikuwa anasema nini so that platform your position ime it is the now the the tiktok buyer beware penye watu wanataka kukua bullet na mtaiona hapa ikiendelea it's going to be blackmail extortion and lies that is what is going to happen here and that's what you're going to see here that is why that uh, uh, platform was formed and i feel like we need a, an opposition platform that is a real opposition i think we need to have a real opposition platform see platform ya bullying we need to have a real opposition platform a proper one that works so by the way uh, tarehe 28 march mimi pia niko na kitu inakuja so and i'm also launching my book in the month of march and i have also other things coming up in the month of march very important things eh hiyo tarehe 28 opposition it should be a platform where people can speak without being bullied or targeted it should be a place where there is no favoritism it should be a place where people use their brains and not emotions and people can talk about issues that are happening on tiktok without being psychopaths what we currently have is a group of psychopaths that have gathered in one basket that is what we currently have so how how is your position how ni 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 flying monkeys and uh, it's the new <laughs> it's the new by tiktok buyer beware it's going to be the killing zone on tiktok so mwana vile walikuwa wameshaanza kuni body shame na wanapandisha kina Peter Kioi na wanapandisha kina Boskan kufanya the body shaming na kutusi watu that is how buyer beware started and that is how people started dying in that group so yani sahi wako na ma recruits wanaji group wanajitengeneza kukua a big platform according to them they are going to be a big platform <laughs> Uh, a, a strong opposition platform we need a strong opposition platform here i think we need it's time for us to have a, a proper opposition platform here yenye aina upuzi na ujinga na kilindogo na psychopancy what we currently have is a group of simpers and psychopaths who are hungry for coins sitting down and addressing things that are of, of no importance you know here on tiktok we need something different and i think that is something that should happen soon than later so it's it's very very important so i think uh, a lot of what i'm going to say will say over the weekend because that's when i'm not at work kwa sasa hizo story mnapiga kelele hapo za jaba at who why is diana talking now diana will talk and you cannot stop diana from talking Nobody can stop me from talking. No, no. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. So, before you start saying things, uko very mwangalifu. And when you're coming out here to talk badly about me, also talk about the good things I did to you. Remember we kange hizo hapo pia kando. Ukiongezea. Yeah. Talk about it. Usi usi kwa sababu umeamua ule wewe ndio ulianza it una una unaanikana. Una Kama umeamua kuanikana na umeanza kuanikana, kwa nini unaogopa kuanikwa? Ukianza uchokozi just be okay. Hata we pia ukirudi uki, 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 if you responded. Kwa nini unakata? Utaki Eh? Nimeona Choku alienda kuongea vile ati alini 
alinintroduce kwa nyako let me tell you guys a story that you don't know a story that no tiktoker knows na hamjawahi jua lakini kwa sababu hao wameamua kukuja na uongo acha tuweke ukweli hapa nje yes choku introduced me to nyako but the only reason why he introduced me to nyako was because of the case alikuwa nayo na nyako na mimi niliingilia kati kwa sababu niliambia choku mimi ndio niliambia choku na kama ni uongo share this live with choku akuje hapa nikamwambia easy vita za wanawake na kutusiana na wanawake and the things you are doing they are not good for you at this moment in fact at some point mimi ndio nilikuwa nampatia the things that she was going she he came to ask me for each things to talk, to tell Jacqueline Ombewa na ni mimi nilimwambia the things that he needed to tell Jacqueline Ombewa at that time akakuja kutusi nazo Jacqueline Ombewa basi nikaona sasa wanaenda back and forth na haishi anaenda kutema wao wanawake wanataka kumua when he posted that if he dies people should know that it's Jacqueline Ombewa and Yako that is killing him i said ah uh-uh. ah we have seen people die before this is not going to happen because we saw ati make women die nikampigia nikamwambia choku let us help this thing isha because i feel like this issue is too much is there any way that this thing can end choku did not want to end it by the way hakutaka mimi Diana ndio nilipigia choku nikaongea na choku kama ana deny akuje hapa nikamwambia that issue of back and forth with these women needs to end it needs to stop it's unhealthy if you are now at the point of thinking about suicide baka una post and he posted on facebook am i lying when you are on facebook na wanapolo choku muniandikia hapa when he posted on that day is when i reached out to him na nikamwambia hii kitu adwa ni give you room because it's too much nikamwambia i don't talk to nyako i have never interacted with that woman at all i only saw her on facebook bila alikuwa na tusi nani jacqueline How am I going to approach this woman? In fact, it took us a lot of work because tulikuwa tunasema, "Eh, hey, sasa huyu mama tutamuongelesha aje. She doesn't talk to me. How am I going to talk to him?" To her, how am I going to talk to Nyako? I don't talk to I don't talk to her at all. She's not my friend. Choko akaniambia, "Diana, what do we do?" Because ah, uh, na si Nyako hata ulizo umetoa namba yako wapi? Ah, nikamwambia, "Ah, Nimekumbuka kitu choku. I love you too, Idingori. Nikamwambia nimekumbuka kitu. Unakumbuka nyako aliwahi kuni mention siku moja eti anatafuta Diana Rose vile Jacqueline alikuwa amemchosha. Maybe wacha ni petu namba yake nitamwanzia from that point. Atakumbuka mimi ni nani? then she might want to talk to me because sai nae nikianza tu kumtumia nini it will be hard hmm? guys choku akanipea namba ya nyako and the whole purpose for me talking to nyako was for her to be at a place where yeye na choku wanaweza sikizana na waachane na maneno zenye zilikuwa kati yao na chukua waachane na maneno ya kesi vitu ziishe sasa wacha ni wape story yenye hamjui sawa and by the way choku if you can come here nimekupatia hiyo nafasi unaweza kuja ukipenda pia ufungue live useme nadanganya lakini usisahau mimi niko na recording zote mimi nataka tu ufungue live useme Diana anadanganya. Na basi mimi nikuja hapa na zangu. Sasa when um, I called Nyako. In fact I think nilimtext kwanza. Nilimtext kwanza I think if I'm not wrong. Nilimtext kwanza. 
alafu nikampigia lakini akashika simu nikamwambia mimi ni Diana Ross ati eh nakujua tukaanza kuongea kwa mbali thank you dingori nikaanza pole pole kumletea storia nani ya choku pole 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 and guys it was not easy because at that time nilikuwa namuongelesha alikuwa na roho ngumu akaanza kusema vile yeye pia anapeleka choku mbele kwa sababu ya nudes yes ji choku alikuwa na nudes zake Al, uh, yani no, choku alikuwa anaonesha na nudes i think kwa internet and then she was trying to tell me that that is illegal in germany and i told her i don't think that it's illegal for anyone to show their nudes like i, I don't think that's illegal i don't think that is going to go anywhere akaniambia yeye hata yeye kuna hiyo evidence nikawaambia wote wawili nyinyi wote mmetukanana the court process ya germany iko very different because nyinyi wote mmetukanana and again the court in our charge for taking their time and it's expensive to keep a lawyer choku had a lawyer and he kept on telling me how expensive it is to maintain this lawyer I'm telling you a story that you people don't know because hapa TikTok watu wanapenda uongo and they like to claim things. So I was in touch with Choku and I was Choku was sending me even the court documents. I have them. Alikuwa ananitumia. Hata kuna zingine ni mimi nilikuwa namsomea na tuna translateiana the ones in german in german na tunaongea na mu explain here this is what the court was saying this is what your lawyer is saying unaelewa so ikafika point yenye sasa tuliongea ani naongea na nyako na naongea na choku guys that is how i came to be in nyako's platform through choku's case mimi sikuingia kwa platform ya nyako kwa sababu ya gifts no the 100% reason why i came into nyako's life and platform was because of choku's case and it wasn't because of the cabinet issues za cabinet zilikuja baadaye sawa sawa so we reached a point where now both lawyers from both parties were like these cases are going nowhere and it's important for both of these people to come to an agreement wa funge hizi vitu na kesi ziishe including Choku's lawyer he was brutally honest and told Choku that these issues are going nowhere and they need to drop these issues morning kiki that's the truth they will not tell you both of them me i have those letters so the cases is at case nilikuwa nini hakuna palilienda these people all they reached a point where they all came to an agreement that nobody should talk about the other and both their lawyers walikuwa pamoja na waka agree na hivyo ndo vile vitu ziliisha hakuna mtu aliambiwa alipe mtu popote and these are the same people fighting me while i mediated unaelewa so that is how everything blessed nani amekuuliza i don't know why you are ask, answering a question that nobody has uh, as as asked you sawa so, sawa so. so that is what happened hiyo ndio kweli wa mambo vile ilikuwa na hivyo ndio vile ilisha so hiyo um <laughs> kiki tu na huo kika bed limited <laughs> nobody can limit me onge ngamanya lo limiter so this idea of CG somebody was ordered to pay something that that's all bullshit guys i think it's sad and um people like lying here on this uh app uh, uh, there was nothing like that this was a truce agreement 
and both parties agreed with their lawyers that they need to stop and they need to shut it. And it was based on the truth that these both lawyers saw that this is this is something that was not going to do anything in court. They are both going to lose and they were both going to be asked by the courts to to pay for wasting the court's time. And and that's what happened. And me, I have documents to that effect. And yes, Choku sent me these things. And the only thing, um, why reason why I speak about this is because they choose to mention, and Choku talked about it, so I'm here to clarify. I kept all this because it was not necessary for me to. Nyako, like it's an achievement. Kwani, you think going to Nyako's platform is such an achievement that I need to keep on records on my file? Me, I went there, did what I needed to do, and I left, and that's it. I am not interested in going back. I never go back. I don't do that kind of shit. Once I'm out of a place, there is no going back. I'm going back to Fanyanin. I'm not a simper, and there's nothing really that I need from her. That is the in your manner. She's only important to the people that that, that need her. I don't need her. Sawa. So I don't know why there's this notion. What one of Kiriangati? It was such a big deal to be in that platform. Come on, guys. There is nothing. Like, what is it? So that dream. Um, to any kwakichozenu, me I'm not a simper and I never will be a simper to anybody. Even when I was in Nyako's cabinet, she knows I never simped for anything. Never. Never ever. And I never will. She did a birthday for me, which was good. Yes, I appreciate. And I saw much love there. Yes, and I returned the favor with 400,000 coins on her birthday. Because it's the right thing to do. So, so you get to have to go for your anniversary. Oh, I just I want to go to the to come back. I want to go to the People must be very stupid. Oh, thank you. That looks gorgeous. So that is the truth that happened. Now, ni meski awa tu waki waki chemuka chemuka waki se ah. Diana and your church, Diana and your church, you people are so stupid. And I said it very well. There is kuna, kuna big change coming here. And I talked to you, I said, between the months of March and April, what will happen on TikTok will make everybody funga mudom. And when that happens... I will speak about Ochot very clearly. Now is not the time. Sawa sawa. For now, what are what we are endele kujirombosa wa kifikiria? They are smart. They know what they are. Akuna yani yani na wangalianga apa ta wui Ochot na muona anga apa na sema yani wui ma. Na sema surely this group of people they think they are very smart yani yani wanajiona ni kama ni werevo. Eh, muna semanga Diana ni evil. Nini watu? Kuna watu wako evil kwa hii app. Ukiwa onanga wakifungo malaivu, wakifanya ma analysis, utafikiria ni watu wenye ni wazima. Kiriya mkikirieta account. 
ukicreate account atiwezi julikana nani ame create and who is behind it you people are mad Ochot was created at the peak of gifts and gifting on TikTok. Watu wakaanza safari, watu wakasikizana, wakakula kiapo. I will never, I will never say, I will never. Lakini katikati ya safari vitu zikaporomoka mirengo ikabidi zikuwe mbili kuna vitu hata nikiwaambia hapa hata gugunesho ninyi watu mtarudisha machozi zenu ndani lakini wacha ninyamaze for now when the time is right when you people will know the truth i'm telling you i will leave you with one thing again and you think about it hapa tiktok ni kitu gani inauza sana nini ni nini inaweza kukuletea hapa inaweza kukuletea uh, pesa hapa kwa TikTok What is it that if I start here to now hata saa hii tu nikianza tu hapa saa hii inaweza kuni inaweza nini ni, 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 inaweza kuanza kuniletea hapa hata uone tu magifts zikianza kumwagika hapa ni nini nikianza saa hii? Watu watakuja tu hapa waanze kusema ai oh ai eh mm, ai dana oh no ni vitu ngapi How many two things but the biggest thing is sympathy 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 and playing victim when you're very good at seeking sympathy and playing victim and you have a proper fan base you're gonna make it on TikTok. Sawa sawa. So, ah. Hata mimi sasa hivi wengine wanajifanya eti, "Oh, mama tumechoka na yeye." Ngoja nifungue hapa live. Tunikuje tu hapa tu na live na nitoe machozi zangu hapa ni muone vile watu wangapi watakuja hapa kuniona na wangapi watakuja kuniambia pole. Hmm? Wenye hizi. Wenye hizi watumie na wenye macho wafanye nini? Haambiwi nini? Tazama. Ah. Uh. There are things that are happening on this platform that require a bit of intellect. Kama hauna hii, hauwezi ukajua what is happening. Wezi ukajua. And right now wateni niwaambie Diana is the biggest threat to to the to the people who have been using sympathy and victim victim card. Hmm? I'm upsetting the status quo. So now the armies are are rallying against me. 
chai zangu bado zitamwagwa hapa mingi my friend watu wataenda kutafuta mpaka wale watu ninatomba wakuje waonge nao Wa, wewe bado mjaona siku na mtu alikuwa ame, amekuwa contacted jana atengeneze photoshop naende akatengeneze video apeleke telegram eti alilala na mimi and then me then you can never even know any man i fuck wezi jua wamekaa wamepanga vikao wanatengeneza vile wanataka kufanya you're forgetting me i am always 100 steps ahead 100 before mkuje kuweka hizo nitakuwa nimeshapatiwa kila kitu na mimi niweke niweke before you mimi na kuanga mbele sana hizo vitu mmekaa kwa vikao eti mnapanga mimi nilishajua zote ndio maana nimesema hapa TikTok You cannot remove me from TikTok. Na hii account pia umwezi angusha. Yesterday when I was live, I'm going to send put for you guys that uh, a screenshot. A TikTok had sent me a message that we are protecting your life because you are creating awareness about cyberbullying. Yesterday they tried to report my live. Watu 700 wali report live yangu jana. Haikuanguka. ati tunaenda na account mtapita na account account ya nani mnapita na mimi Diane hakuna pale mnaweza enda na account yangu if i want to close this account I'll close. don't deal with those ni wewe nitakuwa na kwa address because you Mimi hata ukirecruit eh, nani yule alleged re, re, rapist that that does not bother me hata siwezi fungua live eti ninamjibu najibu hiyo chokora anafanya for what wewe ka tu nao machokora kwa live ni sawa mimi uta hii nipata nimefungua live nikipangisha watu kwa guest ati wa, ati wa kwa address i'm not a weak woman like you i don't do groupies mimi usimamanga peke yangu. Hata ukiwa by beware nilisimamisha by beware peke yangu. Mimi udana mtu mmoja. I didn't need any groups. And I stopped your bullying as an individual. I don't do it with any group. Me I do my work alone. Peke yangu. hizo so, games hizo vitu mnapanga my friend game yenu iko bado chini njoo nikufundishe a thing or two how to operate how to operate in a tiktok political scene na bado kuna vitu zinakuja hapa mbele hii wiki mbili yenye inakuja hapa mtakaa chini na matako zenu Anao kuonesha vile politics inafanywa. You don't you, you, you want to learn politics you're going to be learning from me. Tutakuwa na learn a few things on how to do stuff on social media. Wewe umepiga hesabu mbaya. You didn't know you have a game bwana. You have a you have a match. Tumia hii. This is not the time to have friction with people. Yaani uko na game unafaa kuwa to your Ati ati me I have my people which people do you think you have? What you ati have my people will give to me. Endelea kuota hapo. 
Ngoja watasikia masiku chache before game yako vitu ulikuwa unasema juu yao. Wakuja kupea lion vile una watusi wajinga. Huh? <laughs> 360 uliponea? I hope uliponea. I wish you well. Hm? Mm? Nasikia tu ulikuwa unasema eti tulikubeg ati ukae. Why would anyone beg you to be honest? Like we were just giving you uh, some little respect for friendship. That is all. Tunakubeg wewe ulikuwa unaleta nini kwa 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 like What were you bringing on my platform? Uh, ya kupika chakula. Si ulikula hizo pesa 13,000 ulitumiwa zinyi zilikuwa zinafaa kuwa zinasaidia watu wenye wali win game you didn't even give it out ulikula sasa wewe una, unaongeza nini ndio ulikuwa nafikiria tunataka uh, nini eti tunakuhitaji like ulikuwa na what were you adding ati nimeona ka recording kako kengine ukisema ati am free no what you're free from is trying to be what you're not you are trying to be in my space and existing in my space as an intelligent person but you could not now you are in your buffoonery zone that is where you're comfortable so that's the freedom you've gotten you have moved into the buffoonery zone where you belong pali kuna delulu you have your back into your delulu zone that's why you're free you're good so your freedom you 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 talk about <laughs> <laughs> Ati I'm free. You're free na bado unaenda kulamba matako upewe coins. I'm free. Simpas can never be free. Simpas are slaves forever. Ala, you're back to your hood. Yes, the hood rat has gone back to the hood where they belong. So you you are trying to be in um in a high end area and you, you see maisha umezoea. Ulikuwa unajaribu kukula na fork na kisu lakini hujui umezoea kukula na mkono kuchuna ugali na mkono so you are really trying to belong you are trying to be in a place where you are, you are trying to have discussions uh, that are full of intellect trying to be in a space where you are just going to exist and be genuine about the issues that we are talking about but you knew you could not do it because that's not the kind of thing you do you are an extortionist So you were looking for a space where you could thrive and, and you know take take what you needed to take and take advantage of people. That's why you're feeling that you're free. Aturo koro. So the freedom you've gained was not because you are in a cage, no. It's because you are in a place that the bar was so high for you. You know, in terms of intellect and what you brought on the table. Because you didn't have the money and you also did not have the intellect to be in the conversations so it's okay it's okay for you to have left sawa sawa so wewe tuko tuko na wewe rada weekend and um, Just keep talking. Mimi I'm busy this week. I've not been looking at the all the recordings. I'm only responding to what my ile kitu macho yangu imeona. I I cannot sit and watch you speaking. No, I really can't. Especially with the men that squeeze
Sawa sawa. Haitaisha. It's not going to stop. People died. And we must talk about these things. to their families. The families were the ones that were telling the stories. And they are clearly zero. Are the other stories that I'll be bringing out through the weekend as we continue. Stories of extortion, stories of people dying, including even people who are not members of that group who died because their family members died in that group. So Mildred Oiso's story needs to be told, and only I can tell it, especially when it comes to mental illness, suicide, and what happened in that group. So, our others, when you want to go live at Ikusema ni uongo, please get something to do with your life. If you come for me, I will come for you, your chicken, your goats, your cows, na hata viroboto ziko kwa nyumba yako. Sawa, sawa. And don't ask me why. Mimi nilikunya mazia na ukamua unaanza kukuwa stupid ati mpaka wewe you of all the people ati unani body shame like really hata <laughs> nikikuangalia tu vizuri woi 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 mai ai acha nifunge mdomo yangu let me not do or say the unthinkable Nisiseme kushinda yenye nafaa kusema. Asa, so people need to know what you did in that group. And I will continue telling people what you did. Apart from the suicide and appear, the monies that you took from people. Eh? Well, nilikwambianga ikifika saa ya pesa, unganga mdomo usionge. Nyamaza. Wewe pia unaweza kuambia mtu alipe deni. Eh, hey, umesahau. We? Umesahau sana. You are forgetting. Lakini tuende nalo sasa. Mimi naenda kulala guys. It's one o'clock. I'm going to do. Asanteni sana. To my moderators that were here, thank you. Asanteni. Sawa, sawa. I appreciate you. Nini watu wazuri sana. Asanteni sana. And to everybody, tafadhalini, keep doing what you're doing. E platform, tuta coexist. People should start minding their business. Because Mimi, if you start minding my business, I will mind yours. So stay away from me, kama hutaki maneno na Mimi. Because mimi si choko zangi watu. I only respond. I don't attack. So, na usiju ukaone simba amenyeshewa ukafikiria ni paka. That is the thing that lied to art. Nikuwa na muwana kiiwa busy ananiandikia messages. Anafikiria mi ni mjinga. Anandika message. Anayel kwa messages. Akifikiria na deal na mjinga. Naangalia na muangalia tu nikisoma hizo message nasema huyu mama. <laughs> Anajua mtu ana deal na ukweli. Eh? Niliona akichemka. Eh? We are going to help her. Akichemka. Nikasema delulu chemka. Tupata shock of your life. Hmm? So good night everybody. Thank you so much. Tutaona nani. Bye-bye.